Look, are your illustrations looking something like this? Well, if so, don't worry. I've got a tutorial that's gonna teach you guys some cool tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's jump into this. If we're gonna do french fries, the first thing I wanna do is a fry box. So I'm gonna start with the rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw out a little rectangle and then I'm gonna grab the direct selection tool Grab one of these corners, hold the shift, and bring it in a little bit. And that's looking good. I'm actually going to squish it just a little bit. Perfect. So now I want to duplicate this side. Take it over here. We're going to flip it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line them up. Make sure they're lined up perfectly. And I'm going to combine them. So you go to Shape Builder, Combine All, Convert to Path. So now we have one shape. Squeeze it in a little bit, increase that width of the stroke, perfect. All right, so what I wanna do next is I wanna create a little crevice right here, like the little window of the fry box. So I'm gonna to come to my ellipse tool, I'm gonna to draw that out, and I'm gonna put it directly in the middle. And I'm just gonna confirm that those are lined up perfectly. They are. So now I'm gonna come back to my shape builder and do minus front, convert to path, and look, you can already start to see where we're going, right? So now what I need to do is I need to have a little back. So I'm gonna grab another ellipse. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna send it behind. Make sure it's perfectly in the middle, which it is. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the eraser. This is one of the cool things you can do from being on the iPad. I can just come through here and erase like that. And then I'll grab my direct selection. Make sure you got that layer, delete, and boom. We're already rocking and rolling. So I'm gonna change the color of this just so I remember that that is the background, perfect. And we're pretty much uh, getting in a good spot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink this a little bit. And I wanna make sure all the strokes are the same, perfect. So now that I've got that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding fries. So this will be the fun part. It's actually the most simple part too. We're just gonna take the rectangle tool and we're just gonna do long rectangle shapes. And those will be our french fries. I'm actually gonna drop down the width of the stroke a little bit, but I'm gonna make sure that these are nice and golden. I'm gonna come over here to my yellow. That's looking good. Maybe shrink this a little bit. And I wanna put this behind this front layer right here and so now you see that's gonna be the fry what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start duplicating them rotating maybe dropping them a little bit but this is where you can start making it look really unique just by switching it up a lot I'm just gonna keep duplicating it until I get something that I think looks good and looks right So that's starting to look good, right? But it's actually looking a little generic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through, maybe I'll bend these corners a little bit or add some highlights and shadows, but we're gonna do some last little uh, touches just to make it look a little bit more put together. And I like to round my corners. That's just personal preference. You really don't have to. I personally prefer the way rounded corners look most times, um, but that's not something you have to do. I'm gonna select all the fries, grab one of these beziers right here, and I can just pull it. Cool, and I'm liking the way that's looking. So I feel like the middle of the box needs something. I'm not sure what it needs, but a circle seems like it would be a good, a good thing to put in the middle. I'm gonna line it up. All right, so I'm liking the look at this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a background. I definitely don't want a stroke on that, so I'm gonna turn that off. Stretch that out. And I'm gonna throw that all the way in the background. And 
And so now what I want to do is I want to start adding some highlights and shadows. So I'm going to grab this, duplicate. Take it over here. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Select them. We're going to go back to the shape builder. Minus front. Convert to path. And then I'm going to delete this little guy over here because I don't need it. Delete. Pull this over here. And I don't want a stroke on this, so we're going to turn that off. And I'm going to make this color white. And this is going to be a highlight. So that's looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity. Actually, I'm going to make this side a shadow. And I'll make the other side a highlight. Maybe turn that opacity up a little bit. Make it nice and dark. Okay. And now over here, this is where I'm going to add a highlight. So I'm going to take my pencil tool, throw on white, and I'm just going to do a nice little blob shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole point. I'm going to click my direct selection. These little three dots right here, what that's going to do is just simplify the path. It makes it look cleaner, more professional, I think. Again, we're going to drop that opacity. And what that's going to be is the sun coming in from the left side, casting a shadow here on the right. So what I need to do now is I need to add a little shadow at the bottom right here. So I'm going to do the pencil tool again. And I'm just going to come through and draw this out. You can definitely use the shape builder tool to do this. Um, but since I have the pencil tool, I'm just going to make use of that. Drop that opacity. Drop this one down pretty good. All right, I'm really liking the look at this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little shadow at the bottom of the fry base. Again, this is totally preference, but I like the way it looks. It kind of looks like it's floating. So I like to do this on a lot of my pieces. I'm going to drop this opacity. Perfect. Throw it under. Okay, that's a good spot. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I want to add a little bit of texture to these fries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush tool. I'm going to do blob brush, basic round. I'm going to do white. And I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to these fries. I'm actually going to do this on a new layer and I'm just going to have some fun with it. Cool. I think that looks cool. I like the way that looks. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to do some cool little accents. So we're going to turn this, make it black. And I'm actually going to make these bigger. So I'm going to grab these. That's actually a little bit too big. Move it down a little bit. Okay, I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another shadow right here. This would be a shadow just on the inside of the logo. I think that'll look cool. Again, we don't need a stroke for this and we're going to make it black. Drop that opacity. I'm going to add another layer, and now I'm going to add a little bit of accents. I'm going to do pencil tool. I'm going to come over here to my settings. I'm going to do width profile. Increase this a little bit. Very nice. And I want to do the same thing to this one right here. Well guys, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. If you're following along with this, feel free to keep going and adding more accents, but I think I'm going to leave it here. I like the way it looks and we're going to call it done. 
Well guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. Check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well guys, I appreciate you being here. And until the next time, peace.